Today we are talking about cutting steel with an oxyacetylene torch and facilities maintenance. So you can also weld and braze with an oxyacetylene torch, but today we're specifically talking about instances in facilities maintenance where you're going to cut a piece of steel for fabrication purposes, etc. So here's your typical oxyacetylene cutting torch kit that you would need. Uh, it comes with, as you can see, a welding nozzle, a cutting tip, a heating nozzle, sometimes called a rosebud, uh, the cutting attachment, the torch handle with built-in flashback arresters and check valves. Uh, that's an important safety feature. Uh, your oxygen regulator, your acetylene gas regulator, uh, your T-grade hose. The red hose or the red portion of the hose is for the acetylene and the green is for the oxygen. Uh, the striker uh, tip cleaner and then some soft-sided goggles or a, a face shield, at least a shade 5 to protect your eyes. And you also want to wear proper PPE. So this is what a traditional oxyacetylene cart looks like. Uh, you always want to keep the bottle stored upright and transported upright and secured and uh, with chains or a bracket, etc. And this chart on the right shows the different size bottles that are available. So you can see if you're doing you know, just a small project once in a while, you could probably get away with a small bottle. If you're a larger shop, you're gonna be doing a lot of cutting, you probably wanna go with one of the larger size bottles. Some safety notes. Uh, again, wear uh, fire resistant, fire rated clothing. Uh, wear your PPE, minimum of a shade five lens to protect your eyes. Um, I prefer the full face shield because you don't want any you know, slag or sparks coming back and hitting you in the face. Um, have a fire extinguisher nearby. Uh, your company may even require a fire watch personnel on hand. Uh, make sure your work area is clean and clear of combustible material, rags, paper, cardboard, wood, you know, anything, you know, that could ignite, combust, etc. No flammables. Uh, clamp your work piece that you want to cut to your steel workbench with a C-clamp or clamp it in a vise and mark your cuts ahead of time with some soapstone. Um, the acetylene connections uh, will all be left hand threaded whereas all the oxygen connections will all be right hand threaded. So when you thread your your regulator into your 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 tank, when you thread the hose onto the regulator, the you know acetylene will be left hand thread or reverse thread. Oxygen is going to be traditional right-hand thread. And be careful not to cross-thread the threads on the fittings. Uh, you want to check for leaks. You can use like a soap and water solution in a spray bottle. If you see bubbling, then that, you need to address that leak. Uh, keep your oxygen acetylene hoses away from your torch while in use. You don't want the piece of metal you're cutting to come down and slice open your hoses or a hot molten piece of slag to hit your hose. That's, that's very dangerous, so be mindful of your working area at all times. Again, use at least a number five shade lens or face shield. Uh, and then as far as the acetylene tank valve, they should only be open uh, one turn max, so that way if there is an emergency or you need to turn it off quickly, you can just one turn at the most and it'll be it'll be closed. You don't want to be sitting there having to turn that, that valve several times in an emergency. Um, acetylene storage um, needs to be stored uh, flammable gas 25 feet away at a minimum from you know where you store your oxygen tanks, for example. You always want to store them way away from each other, never next to each other. Um, so as far as setting the the PSI on your, your regulators for your oxygen and acetylene. You can find charts like this online. So depending on what torch tip size you're using, that's going to determine the PSI rating that you set your fuel gas and your oxygen regulators at.
some nomenclature. So here's what a oxyacetylene cutting torch looks like. Uh, again, you got your cutting nozzle, your cutting tip. Those come in different sizes. Um, the cutting attachment, the preheated oxygen valve, um, your oxygen cutting lever, the torch handle. Uh, you see the red is where you attach your acetylene hose. The blue is where you attach your oxygen hose. So it's just some basic torch lighting and cutting tips. Uh, verify the acetylene regulator is set to the proper PSI per the previous chart. And the oxygen regulator is set to the proper PSI per the previous chart. Uh, and then you only want to open the oxygen valve on the torch several times and only open the acetylene valve a quarter turn max. Um, and anytime you open these valves, again, you open them very slowly. You don't open them very fast or, you know, or quickly at all. Um, just nice and easy, nice and slowly. Uh, then you light the gas with your striker and then you would slowly continue to open the acetylene valve on your torch just until that black smoke starts to go away and then you stop opening that acetylene valve. Don't go any farther. Uh, then you slowly open the forward, the preheated oxygen valve, that forwardmost knob, until the blue cones inside your flame envelope are neutral and they don't dance when you squeeze the oxygen cutting lever on your torch. And then as far as cutting, again, uh, you, can, you can clamp like a piece of angle iron onto the workpiece you want to cut uh, ahead of time. And then you could rest your, your torch tip, your torch head, along that angle iron so you get a nice, clean, straight cut if you're worried about, you know, being too wiggly or wobbly with your, with your torch. But to keep your neutral flame cones about an eighth of an inch off the material surface you are cutting, and then squeeze and hold the oxygen cutting lever on the torch and cut slowly. You don't want to rush this process. If you go to squeeze the handle and basically nothing happens, no metal starts to, to blow away or melt, you haven't got it hot enough yet. Uh, you may even need to do a preheat on thicker material, like if you're cutting a half inch thick steel plate, three quarter, one inch, you're gonna to want to preheat that with your torch first. It doesn't need to be cherry red, but just good and hot. That can help you get a better cut. And again, just take your time, go slow. So tips for turning off the torch after you're done cutting. Uh, turn off the acetylene valve on the torch handle first. Uh, then turn off your oxygen valve on the torch handle. Uh, close the oxygen and acetylene tank valves all the way. Uh, relieve both the oxygen and acetylene lines. You don't want to leave oxygen and acetylene in those lines stored. Um, ideally, if you can remove the lines um, and, and, and the regulators, um, that's a good best practice. I hope this video helped. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover.